Welcome everyone to another episode of the Soviet Union in the Kaiserlag mod. So everyone, today what we'll be doing is we'll be getting our rightful revenge against the Japanese. Because as you guys know, the Japanese a couple years ago did a couple of atrocities to our people. And we here as the, uh, as the children of that injustice are here to exact our revenge upon the Japanese. So, let's continue on with this. And as soon as we are able to, I want to add a uh, war, war goal to, uh, oh, I can't do it already. Okay, um, hmm, getting kind of nervous because if I do this now, this could end in me just losing a lot. Well, I'm going to add this just because I want to get, I'm going to get that island no matter what. So I'll just add that just because I'm already going to get that island. But, so we can start getting war score in our favor. But, um, yeah, I'm very, I'm very cautious right now, people. Very, very cautious. Because I don't know how this is going to turn out. Or I don't know how we're going to be able to, uh, basically I'm worried about as soon as the war ends, what's going to happen to our empire. Because if we declare, I feel like if we, um, if we go over 35 infamy, I feel like we're going to get instantly bombarded by almost every single country's, like, you know, containment war. I'm going to be like, oh shoot, and not be able to deal with it. So, wait, how many troops are there? No, don't you dare attack. We are not attacking more powerful people than us, okay? We will attack lesser people than us. That's the way of the Soviet Union, okay? Is attack when it's smart, not when it's stupid. Okay, yep, that's gonna kill him. They're gonna die before the guys reach him. Yeah. Wow, they actually held out pretty long for being one death stack. Hmm. Okay, anyways, we're going to keep invading. You guys, can you guys get back to the mainland? So we can have you guys reinforce. And down here in China, it seems like there's a couple different death stacks that are causing issues for everyone. Um, I'm not gonna deal with any of that because I feel like if I do, um... I feel like I'm gonna lose all my army if I go down there. Like, just due to stupidity and incompetence of my own my own accord, I feel like I'll get like lots of people killed if I do that. So we're just gonna stay up here in Manchu and just, you know, invade as many people as possible. Okay. Oh my goodness. And someone says, let's see. We don't really I'm gonna keep it soldiers here so we can keep that war score going. I mean, we have apparently negative 11 due to battles, but again, that negative 11 is mostly due to, to the Chinese not being smart about their troops. And that is honestly not counted against me. Well, it is counted against me, but it's not counted against me in terms of the global scale. Because I am totally fighting this war as you are supposed to. They're probably not. Okay, and let's see. 2,000, 1,000, and they are all dead. Or mostly all dead. I guess there's a difference between mostly dead and dead. If you guys got that reference, you have what your mother made you watch a lot of different things when you were little. Or you just have good taste in movies. Okay. Let's go right here. Let's move right here. Kill all these people. We have the French over here now. Hmm. With the French, there might actually be some turning points. I mean, if we have the French over here, that means we actually might have some good stuff to happen with us. Hmm. Let's just keep sieging up all this land. Yes, siege it up. Siege up everything. Everything must go. Yes. All of Korea. All of it. Not just some of it. All of it. Okay. Keep moving down. Last little bits of Korea. Now we got all of Korea sieged up. It is officially within our, I should say, protection. And now what we're going to do is make sure that the Chinese... How are the Chinese doing down here? They're doing terribly bad. They haven't destroyed any of the death stacks yet. Hmm. But at least they might destroy this one. So there is that consolation. And we have completely occupied what we need to. And so is there anything else I can get out of this? Hmm. Also, December 1942. Okay. So if I want to get a war with the Germans started too, I'm going to have to wait until next year next year so well not basically next year next year and then i'm going to see if i can get the french declared war and then i'm going to add in my uh total total annexation war 
which should be nice, hopefully, and should end in me just like owning everything. Alright, and it seems like the Japanese, I think, are starting to lose. Yes! Finally, the Chinese are being smart, they're using the biggest advantage against them. Good! Good! You guys learn very quickly how to fight. That's good. Okay, and now we are completely stranded because we have no sh no ships to go to mainland sh Japan. Okay, let's fix that right now. Oh wait, not in, it's not gonna be fixed doing that. It's gonna be fixed over here. Let's just build some ships in Asia, China, Asia, China, Asia, China, Asia, China, Asia, China, Asia. I keep saying Asia, but it's really China, Europe, China, Europe. No, it's Asia, Europe, Asia, Europe, Asia, Europe, Asia, Europe. Okay, that should be enough ships. And we will set the uh, meeting place up right here. There we go. All right. And let's see. I'm now, since most of these troops are going to be useless for a little bit, I'm just going to watch the, the Republic built in. Okay. Well, they're not going to be able to destroy that troops. Okay, I'm going to go send my actual army to go destroy that army right there of 108 uh, Japanese. Because that army is just not going to die unless I kill it myself. Okay, the Republic of China is being attacked by who? Uh, sure, I'll help. Okay, and then when I help, that usually means I'm calling in all my allies too. <laughs> oh, yeah, you guys don't get you guys don't get a freebie just because you guys are great powers. I'm gonna call all you guys in. Everyone gets to join in the love of fighting. Okay, because it's a love of fighting. There we go. So the UK and the French are probably joined in. All right, I got 128 troops right here waiting to go destroy these. Let's go do this. The British should be able to last a little bit. Yeah, there we go. That's an army. Yeah. Oh, shoot, I just got... This must be the Japanese advance army because it's like we are almost neck and neck. Okay. Tanks, go! Go, my tanks! Destroy them! So I have a... Oh, did no one reinforce me? Did like no one in the heck reinforce? Come on, guys, reinforce me. Reinforce. Hey, hey, I'm literally winning. I, I, thank you. At least the British did not reinforce me. Wow. Y'all jerks. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Finland, I'm not helping you. You guys, no. No, 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 no. It's Finland, no, you don't get help from me because you guys have been a pain in my butt for a while. Okay, like seriously, you guys have not helped me out most of the time I've been at war. And now since I am not, wow, I owe a lot of different money, but, um, huh. Now that we own the entire, the entirety of this, uh, hmm. It seems like I'm also getting invaded over here by something. Okay, China. I'm just going to say China owns this because this is China's land and I'm just going to keep my troops back over here to the border because I feel like the Germans are increasing te tensions with us. I don't know why they would because I'm not exactly trying to invade them at any point. But apparently they want to increase tensions so we're going to honor their tradition and decrease tensions. Okay, well, let's go look at who would actually join in on this war. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So we could probably get this, so, um, let's get some Crimea action. Unlikely the Republic of China would not join in. Okay, so I'll wait until the Republic of China is done with their Qing War, and then I'll have them fight with us in the uh, German War. And let us see, we're building up, yay! Republic of China, now you are even bigger! I don't know why I'm cheering that, but yay! Okay, and let's go back to over here. Maybe now they'll declare yes. Wait, give it a couple days so the AI updates itself. Okay, now let's see. Will they help us out? Let's get Crimea. And very unlikely still. Very unlikely, very likely, very likely. Okay, that's all I need. Let's do this. Declare war, we're gonna claim Crimea. Yeah. Unless everyone, unless everyone, unless everyone, no, no. The two big people I need to join in, the French and the UK joined in. Okay. Then I'm fine. Th this is going to be a good war. This is going to be a good war. And, except for you guys, 
who are being jerks right now and don't want to join in. Like, seriously, why would you not want to join in and come help your bros? I mean, seriously, I've done nothing to you. And all my troops are now going to die because of the fact that they're at sea. Shoot. Oh, wow. What? How did we... I'm seriously wondering how we lost some battles right now. Like, that's a lot of battles we lost. Okay? And that's costing us most of what we lost. Acquire South Ani. That's good. We have two of them fulfilled, so that means it should cancel out some of these things. Wow, we lost like that many battles, really? Okay. Well, the Germans are probably going to blitzkrieg my land a lot, but luckily, I don't really... Unless they're fighting the uh, French over here, they will lose severely. French over here should be able to land some troops. Yep, they did. Should be able to land troops over here to help out the French. The so French should... Oh, wow, you guys are losing pretty badly. Okay. Um, looks like the Germans were actually ready this time, people. Uh, like I said, my land just used to be... It just used to be for cannon fodder. I don't... <laughs> I'm, the, I'm a Soviet Union. It really is not there for me to really... You know, to care that much, but I'll try to protect it just a little bit. Just need to get my troops back into mainland. Okay, everyone go right here. I'll have all my troops group up, and we're gonna go see if we can go fight the uh, German Germanic army. Um, the French. I, I'm not sure if the French and the British are actually winning this. I'm hoping they are, but it's a very much a. They look like they're both winning and losing, so. I'm hoping maybe they also actually deploy their troops because I'm not going to help them. Seriously, I'm really not, so you might want to deploy your troops. I'm sending all my troops all the way back in Siberia, so my troops are not going to be there for a very long time. You might want to deploy. You might want to deploy. Just saying. Just saying. And it looks like we're starting to win this. The French are starting to do smarter battles. We're smarter to do smarter battles. And... Hopefully, maybe the French will go help. No, they didn't. Oh, wow. The French, I think, are winning this? I think? Yeah, I think they're winning their front. So, that should eventually pull out some troops from over here. And holy shoot, Sweden, you are aggressive mofo. Wow. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna hide my tank the brigades up here. Yeah, no, I don't think I'll ally with you ever again, Finland. That, you guys are a little bit too weak for me. Like, I, I can't accept a certain amount of weakness just because of AI, but that's a little bit too weak even for me. And let's get on the main continent. Yeah, no, 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 you guys don't, you guys don't get to be friends with me now that you guys just declared, like, all-out evilness against me. Also, apparently we ended the war. Did we win any of the stuff we needed? No, we ended in white peace. Mother... <sighs> okay, I gotta get my army better because I'm getting sick of having the having the British negotiate and be all like, we can't give them power. Oh, and they declared peace in this too. Did I win? Yay! I won Crimea! Yeah! Totally, totally awesome. You know what? That actually made this, that actually made this invasion worth it. Yeah! I won Crimea. Oh, uh, okay. Provide an alliance with the, with the Persians and... From here, what we're going to do is do massive repay debts, because our because our interest right now is costing us way too much. Okay, it's costing us way too much. Oh shoot, our, our military was only paid up halfway. Huh. Okay, we're really gonna have to deal with that next time. Okay, but get a lot of good positives going. Uh, a couple of our clothes factories got destroyed, and let's see, is there any craftsmen built in some of these places? Yes. Finally, there's some craftsmen I can finally upgrade some of these like factories I've been waiting for this like seriously depression is over good job good job United States you guys finally got out of the depression we've been in it we've been at war depression and different things throughout the entire years and army let's see nuclear weapons wait can I actually use nukes in this wait is that is that seriously a possibility because if it is I I am totally for this mod using nukes. Like, I've been saying for the longest of times, using nukes in Victoria 2 would be hella awesome. So, if they're actually being serious here, using nukes 
Okay, that would be just the greatest feeling in the world. Uh, Finland, you want an alliance? I'm sorry, I'm not giving you an alliance anymore. You guys have broken my trust. You guys don't call me in the stupid wars. I don't care if you guys are going to be mad at me forever and ever. You don't call me in the stupid wars, okay? It's one of my main rules of Soviet Union. You don't call me in the stupid wars. Okay, and we got some money here. Let's start upgrading some of our factories. Because apparently a lot of our people really like this. We have our electrical factories kind of built. And from here, what I think I'm going to do is, as soon as I upgrade this one and this one, is, yeah, let's get our ammunition factory built. Get that built. Is I'm going to start, um, you know what? I think what we should do, honestly, is actually just encourage craftsmen solidly. Because I feel like our, I feel like we are going down technology tree pretty much at a good pace. So, let's just... Let's just go all in our big countries and encourage craftsmen. Encourage craftsmen. Yes, just encourage craftsmen. We already have enough. I feel like we only we already have enough education. So let's just get some more craftsmen. There we go. And yeah, we're already killing off a lot of our people due to the fact that I'm a dictator. But we should probably get this uh, debt paid off. So debt paying off situation go. Yeah. Because we have to pay back, because this is costing us 230 Ducats, you know, to keep up the interest. And I don't really like to keep up the interest, so let's get that done with very quickly. By the way, does the Germans have a core on us now? They do. Holy shoot, they actually do have one core. Oh, man, that means that at any point in time, these guys can declare war on us again and make us go through this all over again. Hey. By the way, Ottomans, you want to stop being friends of our enemies, please? I mean, I know you guys usually choose neutral, but seriously, they're not your friends. I'm your friend. I'm, I'm your big bro. By the way, how much do I owe, by the way? Oh, I own... Wait, 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 wait. Oh, good. <laughs> I was looking at the wrong decimal point. That's good, that's good. I thought I owned almost six million bucks to the bank or something. I was like, oh my goodness, this is going to take me years to pay off. I mean, years. Oh, wow. Okay, and let us see. The Germans are again being the Germans and just love being the Germans. Uh, the le next time we can declare war on it is the second of a is the second of November, nineteen forty-eight. Another historical year that I should really know, but really I don't. Okay, and let's see. Where's my troops? Hey, you guys, go back over here. This is the more important place you're supposed to be. And we're not declaring war on Japan again until the the. The stupid uh, Chinese have a little bit better of an army. They basically lost us the war. And that was really sad for me to admit it, but yes, they basically lost us the war. I mean, they, they have the most of the, they have the biggest army they could ever deploy in the entire game. And they lost us the war. By the way, what's the population in this? Yeah, 73 million? Oh my goodness, that's insane! Oh, okay. Well, we're paying back. Okay, let's pay back a little fraction of our loans so we can get slightly quicker income. Yep. And now we only own the bank of the Soviet Union. You know, I wish there was a button that I could say, like, expel the bank. You know, like, you know, like in CK2 when they, like, have the expel you button. I wish I had the, uh, expel bank button. Just, like, expel my bank and then bring him back. Yes, yes, we don't want you here. We don't want you here while we owe you loans. But you can come back once we don't owe you anything. Yeah? Okay, cool. That sounds like a great idea. And let us see. Um, the French and the British are building up their forces again. Hopefully they won't deuce it out themselves. Hopefully our camaraderie of attacking like six different people together will keep them allied with each other. Because that'd be really nice. We need to kind of defeat the Germans. The Germans are now at full strength again, which is not good for either party. I mean, that means that the French are going to have to build up. And I'm going to have to build up because I'm definitely in the negatives. But right now I am doing a repay loan mode. So I'm paying my loans. Once my loans are all repaid, then we can start dealing with what I was going to do. Daily projections. Alright, let's see. Any factories I need to upgrade? Yeah, this one needs to. Hmm. This one's doing fine. We don't need to upgrade any of our steamers. One's usually enough for the entire game. And then, 
Let me make sure and show empty. There isn't any like craftsmen I'm missing. No. Good. Okay. Well, I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been a good episode of, I guess, Revenge. Because I did gain a little bit of Crimea. But I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.